Okay, hold on. We are live. Good afternoon. It's Friday and welcome to Chats with Betsy. I'm Betsy Phillips with Baird and Warner. And today I am so excited. We have Linda Goldman. She is a professional certified organizer and she is the owner of her company, All Together Organized. And she is here to talk to us about organizing. So um, welcome, Linda. Thank you. You seem so so good at this, Betsy. Yeah. <laughs> so, Such a podcaster. I'm so uh, Yeah, that's my next career. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, I love this. So I'm excited because tell us what kinds of things do why do people hire an organizer? What do they what do, what do they typically call you and they say, Hey, I need an organizer for it really varies. One thing that's in common is many times people call because they're just they feel overwhelmed. And that's oftentimes the first thing they'll they'll say. But I help people transform a room, whether it's one room in the house or it's an entire house. So that could be, you know, again, any room, including home offices. A lot of people do have um, problems just managing paper and, you know, their workflow. So there's that piece of it. But there's a lot of variety. It's so much fun. Um, I do a lot of work, too, with helping people who are getting ready to move either soon or down the road. So mm -hmm. they're downsizing and they're thinking about, okay, how do I make decisions about what I need, what I don't need, how do those things disappear, how do I get my house ready to put on the market and show well. Um, and then I'll also help people organize to get moved. And then the most fun part is having um, helping them then set up their new home. New house. So that's so much fun. And yes. I love that. And it's also a lot of fun. I've had I've been doing this for 18 years. Wow. So, yeah. So I have clients who I've literally, um, you know, seen them when they, before they had kids, then they got pregnant and had babies. Then those kids grew up and we changed, you know, from a house where there were no kids to children's rooms, to playrooms, to teenage hangout rooms. So it's a lot of fun just kind of going through a life cycle. Or also different moves. I have clients who have moved multiple times. I've gone to different cities to help them move in. It's it's just a lot of fun to have those relationships. That that is wonderful. That is that is so exciting. And you bring a skill that those people obviously they don't have and they want it. And that's right. wonderful that you're able to help them. That's so good. And I think when people are organized. They feel better. It's cathartic. They can Absolutely. work better. They can think better. They can, you know, their mind is clear because they don't have stuff everywhere. So that is so true. Yes, everybody I think is wants to feel, you know, more calm, more peaceful, more in control. Right. And those are things that organizing helps people attain, and that's really gratifying to be able to to do something like that. Right. That's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. So can you want to show us your kitchen? This is so sure. exciting. You know, it's been the craze and during COVID, people are yeah. like cleaning out and trying to figure out. Right. So um, we have a treat today that you are going to show us your kitchen. I am. I am. So I think I'll just start and I hope that I can manage the camera without making it too too rocky but yes, I'll just perfect. start with kind of whenever I do somebody's kitchen I always start with and I say do but I work with the client so that you know we're making decisions based on what's going to work for them but a good place to start is usually like what you know for sure and in terms okay. of deciding where something should go so what you know for sure usually is where you want the dishes and oftentimes you want them to be by the dishwasher so it's empty to, it's easy to empty the dishwasher so that's definitely the case in my kitchen. And so I have this, let me show you. Oops, did you go away? Sorry. No, we're here. We're here. We're here. Um, it's all good. So I have this corner cabinet. Oh, that's a corner cabinet. It's a corner cabinet. And so the thing about corner cabinets, can you see it? Yes, yes. Is they're really not good for little things because they're stuck in the corners. Okay. Um, we're 
You know, we're, lo we're losing your volume a little bit. Oh, darn it. There you okay. go. That's better. That's better. Anyway, so the corner cabinet is kind of a great place to put big things. Like okay. This, because I can just reach in and grab, you know, either a salad plate or a regular plate. I can easily grab a, you know, a bigger bowl or a smaller bowl. And so that's right by the dishwasher. So that's where I chose to put the dishes. Okay. Okay. And then usually another thing you know for sure is where you want the silverware. Again, it's probably by the dishwasher. Right. Um, how do I do this? We got it. There okay. you go. Okay. Tilt down a little bit. So just Love like, your counters. Thank you. So place for, you know, silverware, place for serving pieces, pretty basic. Okay. Okay. Then above the silverware is the coffee maker. Okay. And so above the coffee maker is generally what you'd want your supplies for coffee. Okay. So we've got coffee cups, sweetener, different kinds of coffee tea. Yeah, and your coffee cups match. Yeah, the coffee cups match. I really like, so I'm kind of big into feeling good when I open something. I want it to look good. I want it to look yeah. pretty. I want it to look calming. Yeah. So a lot of people have different kinds of coffee cups and that's great. I mean, especially if they enjoy those coffee cups, if they're like, oh my God, this one reminds me of this. This one reminds me of that. They get pleasure from it. Right. Perfect. But if, it's, if, it, if that's not the case and you kind of like that uniform look, then that's, that's another way to go. Yeah. All right. So any questions? Anything? No, no questions yet. Guys, you can ask questions. Just type them in. We're happy to answer them. So, uh, okay. None yet. Okay. So moving on. So then here we are at the, again at the stove. And I feel yeah. you can't see oh, anything. There, oh, your spices or oil. Oh, this is actually not spices. This is right next to the stove. This is like cooking. Okay. Oil, salt, peppers. So you got there's some spice there. Okay. Um, oil and vinegar, things of that nature. Okay. Okay. So spices. I'll just go over here. Spices are here. So here's the counter where I do sort of my major food prep. Okay. Okay. Wait. You got, yeah. Ooh. Where is that? Oh. <laughs> Let me see. Um. Okay. So is that a drawer? That is uh, a drawer. Okay, yeah, if you could bend it down just a little, you're, yeah, I'm seeing more your dining room table. Okay. Uh, yeah, ooh, so this is a drawer. This is a drawer. Under your counter. It. Yeah, now we see it. Love that. Okay, so these are, of course, alphabetized. So it's oh, they're alphabetized. Oh, my God. Yeah, but they're, I, I alphabetize them by size. So I've got these little guys over here. And then the big guys at the top. Okay. The size ones at the side. But within each side, they're alphabetized. So then you can just quickly find what you're looking for. Okay. Um, next to that, because again, this is where we're doing food prep, is the knife drawer. Ooh, knives. Okay. So I love these knife docks because it's just super easy to slide a knife in. Mm -hmm. And just pick up what you're looking for. Okay. What's I like about? that. And then this is like, again, this is like close to food prep. Here. Yep. Measuring. Measuring. Cook a lot. Sometimes I'm using all of these. So um, measuring, opening, <laughs> and um, just some rinse. Some things like, like these are my onion dials. This is great for cutting onions. Okay. Just a couple of random things like that. Okay. Um, little little bit on your vo voice, so maybe we can, yeah. Okay. That's great. I'll come back. <laughs> yeah, come back. Um, okay, so that's great. Then pantry, because I see you have a beautiful pantry. I can. Okay, yes, I can show you the pantry. There's more drawers, of course, to okay, show Okay, yeah. But, um... Pantry's over here. So, what we have here is this every 
slide out for every, you know, shelf is a different category. So, this baking. Maybe, you know, Linda, maybe you could show us and then put the computer down and talk to us. Because it's hard okay. to. Okay. So, there's just, you know, so I have a shelf of baking and sort of extra spices that are like to refill those. Okay. Um, a shelf of beverages. So it's got like the extra coffee, tea, almond milk. Okay. Crystal light. <laughs> then there's a shelf of condiments. Okay. Um, you know, salad dressing, marinara, etc. And then there's a shelf of grains. So it's got bread, oatmeal. If we don't really. You're right. Them, but that's where right, would, right, right, right. But that's where they would go. And then the bottom is, or actually, our canned goods, canned goods, okay. soups, okay, and onion. Oh yeah, I keep potatoes where the breads are too. So oh. that is the pan. Okay, so just show us that real quick. Let me see the bread and the potatoes. <laughs> Let me see. There that. are no potatoes right now. Okay, but where they would live? <laughs> I'll show you the basket where they live. Oh, they live in a basket. Yeah, that's what I want to see. But they're not there right now. Okay. A little down. Are they down further? Because I don't see. Oh, there's the basket. Okay, got it. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice idea, basket. Okay. Yeah, and there's a little thing there for chip clips, too, which. Yeah. Know. All right. So, let's go next to, um, I'll show you some, I'll finish. Let's just finish with some upper stuff. So again, this is by the food prep area, but this is just where all the um, serving pieces are. Serving pieces. Little food prep holes and sort of microwave serving pieces. Okay. Okay. And they're beautiful. Thank you. Again, I like I like the uniform. So you like the uniform. Um, okay. Oh, let's do pots and pans. I was just going to say, where are the pots and pans? Awesome. I thought I am the only one that has two pots. No, I used to have, you know, everything, but. Right. Oh. I actually, you're going to see, I don't have a lot and I do cook, like I cook a lot. So you don't really need a lot. So Right, right, right. Yeah. Too. Sometimes I think it's the Kaplan or Farberware that's just trying to sell you a hundred pans that you don't need. Right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So, so the stove is right behind me. The spice drawer is right here. Okay. Then I've got two drawers of pots and pans. So the okay. First one. They get little. Oh, there you go. Little lower, Linda. Okay. Again, I'm seeing your countertop and not. There you go. Awesome. Yay. Okay. So we've got the colanders, you know, right by the sink and right by the mm -hmm. stove. And I've got the saucepans. There's one in the dishwasher. <laughs> yeah. And just like a big, a big pot. Yeah. And lower, the next one down are like sauteed. Frying pans. Right. Yeah, frying pans, saute pans. Right. So that's Love it. those. Love those. Yeah. Okay, where's your garbage? Here's my garbage. It's right below where the knives are. Okay. You don't really want to look in there, do you? No, but is it? Um, do you have do you have um, a garbage that's separated for recycle and regular garbage, or just yes, mm -hmm. yes. Nice. So garbage and recycling. Nice. And then, let's see. Um, next to so now we're below where that measuring was, and there's just like a row of cutting boards. Oh, cutting boards. Good. Yeah. So I'm like, again, close to that counter and close to the knives. Okay. And then trivets. Trivets. Triv okay. How about last thing? Do you have baking equipment somewhere? Yeah. So I'm not a big baker, even though there's those, a baking shelf in the pantry. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is a box of pantries. Okay. Okay. Oh, I like those little racks too. Okay. Those are nice. And then lower are, you know, some baking things, baking sheets, and barbecue. Oh, that's that's a lot. That's enough. Yeah. <laughs> that's a lot. Over oh, from... I, and I love your kitchen. Love your Thank kitchen. You. Thank it you. Is. We love kitchens and bathrooms. And, uh... <laughs> this one's how, okay, so then this is where the glasses are. Oh, yeah. Oh, very pretty. Right next to 
stuff. All uniform again. Beautiful and the beautiful picture. Nice. Yeah, thanks. So the ones on the top, obviously, the ones that I don't use very much because so they're just pretty. They make me happy. They were my men. Oh, nice. Um, nice. Then, okay, so then below that, again, next to the fridge. Oh. Food wrap. Yes. Okay, and then below that is Tupperware. So I have oh. two roll-ups of the Tupperware. So and you, you use the glass ones, like the Pyrex with the top. Those yeah. are the ones I love. I don't yeah. like all those other. I, I've invested in those. That's what I like. I don't like all those pieces of plastic. Sorry for really plastic really people, do. but. Well, you know, I like that because I think I originally switched to glass because they said, oh, you can't use plastic in the microwave. Remember when right. we used yeah, so, yeah. Um, so then I think is when I switched to glass. And now I like it so much better. It just holds up. It holds up, it cleans, it's much yeah. um, more echo friendly. And right. um, yeah, right. and then I'm loving I, it. Just, I keep it with the tops, um, you know, usually on top of it. Like I store them with the top. So I don't have with to have the, one place. That's a good idea. In fact, I am going to do that when we're done. I'm going to go yeah. put my tops on mine because I have my tops all like, and it's a mess. Right. So thank and you. you can see if you've like sometimes people when we match them up, they're like, oh, my God, I didn't even realize I have all these extra tops or these extra right. or whatever. So, right. you know, what you have it's actually easier to store them that way. Yes. I and love that, them. So I have two roll ups of that. And then this is like, OK, you're going to again, you know, I like. Oh, look at that. I love that. <laughs> oh my god now that is an organizer's house you know the normal people have one that says gatorade and one that says all kinds of stuff in all different tops and a mess right, right. love those so underneath that okay so i'll show you where those are i do have a couple of those um these are you know couple. yeah Couple, the big giant Thornton. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, uh, Linda, do you have a junk drawer? <laughs> right above that. This is the junk drawer. <laughs> oh, but look how organized your junk drawer is. Yeah, oh my God. Right. Okay. I got to get a little <laughs> junky. It's the same concept, though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know where that term came from, but it's like a <laughs> Um, the only other okay let's see there is an area for small electrics i think oh, it's right nice to pull the small electrics together yes so um you know just blending okay down a little okay so i can see oh yeah oh there they are and they pull beautiful pull out drawers nice so blending this yeah you're a random oversized serving yeah. Um, yeah. Sometimes you have those annoying pieces that you just have to find where they fit. Exactly. I try not to do that, but it's always like a little bit of a puzzle to do a kitchen. And sometimes yeah. it's hard to make everything 100% logical. So, right. Right. Depending on the kitchen and the size and the, you know, that yeah. they have. Right. Right. Yeah. And then what yeah. else? Okay. There's a couple things I haven't shown you. This is, so now we're back to the. So, and sorry. So here's the drawer next to the stove. Oh, uh, the towels and the, the yeah. Towels and the pack holders. Oh, there's my one apron. Yes. And then on the bottom, these are the less frequently used things. So they're okay. Which I do use all the yeah. Time. Yeah. Two and then less frequently used. Um. Upon, um utensils. Mm -hmm. oh, we didn't see this drawer. This is next to the stove. So this mm. is the, the cooking like, utensils. The cooking utensils and a couple of food prep things too. Mm -hmm. so I like to separate food prep from cooking, but I don't have a million. You know, so for instance, cooking are things you use at the stove. Food right. prep is like here I am at the counter and I'm grating yeah. or doing whatever, but and I love I love your knife drawer. I have my <laughs> knives in one of those blocks. 
Yeah, and I don't like it, and I'll tell you why. They get dusty. Okay. And I that the handles get dusty? Yeah, they get dusty. I mean, and I don't need something. I mean, then I'm dusting my knives. That's a crazy thing. So <laughs> I'm going to think about in my next kitchen being able to have a knife drawer. Well, it's a good idea. About it is that you also have one less thing on your counter. So if yes. you're trying to have countertops that are relatively clear, that's yeah. one less thing to have on your counter. And also the utensil drawer. Like some people like to have a, you know, a container that has those cooking yeah, utensils. No. And that's great. If you, I mean, it makes sense and you like it, but if you don't want, if you're trying to get things off your counter, that's another thing you could probably put in a drawer. Hopefully. Yes. Yes. And then the last thing is, so under the silverware drawer, there's this area to pull out. So it doesn't, I don't want to put anything super heavy on here. Right. Oh, mixing. And then some um, Pyrex casserole. Yeah. And then the bottom are um, more mixing bowls, right? You know. And more Pyrex, right? So that's Very nice. Is it. I think you see. Oh, above the microwave, I have. Um, I'll show you this one space above the microwave. Right. Um, yeah, and our bases. Oh, and that's a good right. That's right. a good place to put those. Yeah, because a lot of times you don't want to put something that um, you think is going to melt or whatever. You don't want to put something that you're worried about getting hot. So right. I have my my glass ice bucket up there too. Oh, good glass ice bucket. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, because you know it's not going to melt, and I don't right. use it very often. So right. Right. Yeah. So. so I think that's everything. I think there's a shelf over the. There's um a shelf over the refrigerator that has like you know those things from your kitchen that you're not going to use like the extra the egg thing that goes in right the right water. right and, uh, the bottom that's the top, very top and the bottom I mean, like a, a roasting pan like the turkey right pan right pan. right once a year <laughs> once a year exactly and then also because it's a big wide deep shelf. It's a good place for like I have some big plastic, like a big plastic bowl, a big plastic yes. um, chip and dip, you know, kind of yeah. picky things. So right. that, that's where they live. And they don't get in the way of your everyday. Right. Like, I don't even right. think about that area. Yes. So I yes. need something from there, which is infrequently. Yes. Well, this was great, Linda. And, um, you know, maybe you'll come back another time and we'll talk about a different room, maybe an sure. office. Okay. And anybody that wants to get in touch with you, they can just reach me at my Facebook page, my my website. Linda, your you have you have a website. Your website is it's um altogetherorganized.com and my Facebook page is also altogether organized. And the thing about all together organized is it's all together spelled with one L, not two. Okay. So okay. It, you just want to look up all together organized with actually that'll probably still come up. To tell you the truth, I have okay. that in too. So it okay. <laughs> it'll all come it'll all come up. It's you can you could reach out to me. You're watching this on one of my Facebook pages. So uh, Linda's information will be on my website. It'll be on my YouTube channel. It'll be on my Facebook. So if you need her, please call me. And um, it's great to have you. And we'll have you again for the home office. Okay, that sounds good. All right. All okay. right. Have a great weekend. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye, Betsy. Bye.